Hello students, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Let's start our lesson. Prepare your pens and notebooks to make some notes. The topic of our lesson is work and leave green. In today's lesson, we are going to do a listening task, read a text, do a speaking activity and then do tasks. We start with a listening task. Students, Look at the words. Couple, conditions, accept, common, free, tired, personal, and mornings. What do you think we're going to listen about? Well, we're going to listen about a part-time job. Listen attentively and complete the gaps. Having a part-time job is common for today's teens. But how can you effectively balance your job, your personal life and your schoolwork? Firstly, it is important to only work a couple of nights a week. This leaves plenty of free time on other days. Also, never accept a job where you are expected to work late nights or early mornings, as this will leave you tired the rest of the time. Above all, your job should make you happy. If you don't like the work or the conditions, look for something else. Have you completed? Let's check your answers together. Having a part-time job is common for today's teens. But how can you effectively balance your job, your personal life and your school work? Firstly, it is important to only work a couple of nights a week. This leaves plenty of free time on other days. Also, Never accept a job where you are expected to work late nights or early mornings, as this will leave you tired the rest of the time. Above all, your job should make you happy. If you don't like the work or the conditions, look for something else. The next task is reading. Firstly, we should get acquainted with new words related to our reading task. I'll read each word twice and you should follow my pronunciation. Be up to something. Be up to something means be doing something. Solar. Solar means relating to the sun. Windmill. Windmill is the structure used for producing electrical power. Motto. Motto is a short phrase that expresses the beliefs of a person. Students, do you know these people? What common things do they have? Well, you are right. They are actors. Let's read one more common fact about them. They are eco-celebrities. Follow my reading. Eco-celebrities. Nowadays, finding out what a celebrity has been up to is as easy as turning on your computer. While countless websites offer millions of details about their private lives, the creative things they do for the environment are mostly ignored. Well, we've decided to change that. So here's our eco-celebrity top three. Number three is actor Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo is a perfect example of green living. His unique house in New York is solar heated, has its own filtered air system, it means no air conditioning needed, and a water treatment facility. So all water is recycled. And if that's not enough, when in the city, Leonardo used his bike as one of his main means of transportation. Number two. Celebrity chef Jamie Oliver. Jamie has used his TV programs and documentaries to show the world how important it is for people to buy products locally and eat products grown in their own gardens. In addition, Jamie's famous restaurant 15 is almost totally powered by rooftop windmills. And at number one is fashion designer Stella McCartney. Like Jamie's restaurant, Stella's studio runs on wind power and so does her website. Customers 
can order and receive organic clothing from this site shipped in a way that sends absolutely no CO2 into the atmosphere. Stella's a vegan and her motto is Green is the new black. Your next task is to mark the statements as true or false. Take your time and do your best. Have you finished? Let's compare your answers together. The first statement. Leonardo DiCaprio's unique house in New York is powered by rooftop windmills. Is it true or false? What do you think? Right you are. That's false. Leonardo DiCaprio's unique house in New York is solar heated. Statement number two. Jamie has used his TV programs and documentaries to show the world how important it is for people to buy products locally and eat products grown in their own gardens. Is it true or false? Right you are. That's true. Statement number three. Stella's studio runs on wind power and so does your website. Is it true or false? Well done. That's true. And the last statement. Customers can order and receive organic clothing from Stella's site shipped in a way that sends minimal CO2 into the atmosphere. Is it true or false? Well done. That's false. And the correct answer is Customers can order and receive organic clothing from Stella's site shipped in a way that sends no CO2 into the atmosphere. Great job! The next task is speaking. Students, I'd like you to answer one question. Have you decided yet what job would you like to do when you're older? Take your time and do your best. For this question, you may answer in this way. Yes, I really want to be an actor. I've been in several school plays and everyone said I was very good. I just love being on the stage. I can't imagine doing anything else. Or you can answer, no, I haven't really decided yet, but I think I'd like to work in the media, maybe writing for a magazine or for TV. Here is one more question for you. Would you like to do the same job that someone in your family does now? Take your time to answer. For this question, you may answer in the following way. Definitely. I'd like to be a surgeon like my father. I'm studying hard now to achieve my goal. Or, no, I don't want to follow in parents' footsteps. I need to find my own work that will inspire me. Great job! Students, it's time to revise the words of the previous lessons. Your task is to complete the sentences using the correct form of the verbs recruit, gain, meet, run, and make. Take your time and do your best. Have you completed? Let's check your answers together. The first sentence. The company has recruited skilled and experienced staff. Sentence number two. Ben dreams of running his own business one day. The third sentence. The factory wasn't doing very well, so it made several workers redundant. Sentence number four. 
editors often have to work under pressure and meet tight deadlines. The last sentence. Young people should get part-time jobs to gain experience. Great job! Dear students, let's continue working with the vocabulary. Fill in parade, stalls, public and rural. Take your time and do your best. Have you finished? Let's compare your answers together. Sentence number one. Madina isn't working next Friday because it's a public holiday. Sentence number two. The spring festival in our town always ends with a big May Day parade down the streets. Sentence number three. People who live in rural areas enjoy fresher air and a cleaner environment than those who live in big cities. Sentence number four. There are a lot of stalls selling all kinds of street food around the city center. Great job! The next task is to choose the correct item. Take your time and do your best. Have you finished? Let's check your answers together. The first sentence. I took over the family business when my father retired. Sentence number two. Bill wants to set up his own business after he finishes his studies. Sentence number three. The company will take on new employees next month. Sentence number four. Jill is going to take time off this summer because she needs a holiday. And the last sentence. My business isn't making enough money, so I decided to give up and sell it. Well done! It's time to revise today's vocabulary. Be up to something means be doing something. Solar means relating to the sun. Windmill. It means the structure used for producing electrical power. Motto is a short phrase that expresses the beliefs of a person. Let's check your progress. Try to say or write what you can do. For example, I can talk about work using new words. I know how to express my opinion about my future work. And I understand how to become an eco-friendly person. It's time to finish our lesson. Goodbye.